polydimethylsiloxane is a versatile material that could not be formed into long filaments until now. While silicone filaments may have applications in weaving or additive manufacturing, we are particularly interested in them as a model foldimer. Scalable production is enabled by drawing already curing silicone through a tube furnace. We also demonstrate a way to modify the surface of the silicone filaments using a computer-controlled corona discharger. Timing in this procedure is crucial because the polymer is curing continuously. Keep a timer nearby and be prepared for the next step in advance. Without a visual demonstration, the dynamic process of making filaments would not be easily reproduced. The process involves several time-sensitive steps that require you to adapt to evolving conditions. To begin, connect 1 8 inch inner diameter high temperature silicone tubing to compressed air through a metering valve. Connect the other end of the tubing to a brass extrusion adapter with a 2.15 millimeter diameter aperture. Then, fix a cylindrical ceramic tube furnace vertically in a fume hood two feet above the floor of the hood. Lay aluminum foil under the furnace to catch excess PDMS during extrusion. Mount the extrusion adapter above the tube furnace with the aperture centered on the furnace opening. Ensure that the furnace is not at an angle so that extruded filaments will not contact the furnace. Next, attach a die with a circular cut to an extruder and use a zip tie to connect high temperature silicone rubber tubing to the extruder bit. Connect the other end.